The reminder for today is to be kind and always remember that you don't know what someone's gone through in their life. Um, and that means that you should always give them the benefit of the doubt when you're meeting them. So, for example, I, I promote, um, you know, going out there, guys going out there, getting experience, going, talking to girls, doing cold approach. Um, but that means you're going to be interacting with the world. And if you're someone who's never really interacted with the world and you've only been limited to your own personal experiences and the experiences of your family and your close friends, you can't really figure out the kind of um, mindset that someone has um uh, kind of things that they've learned about talking to people talking to strangers talking to random people so there's all these things that people go through have experiences on and um sort of um learn as they grow up so guys a lot of guys get called weirdos or whatever for trying to do cold approach and they never want to do it again and i hear all these stories all the time from people who say you know i tried it and it didn't really work out and it's usually because they had like a really weird experience where they felt really like they were doing something wrong um by trying to get to know, know people and interact with this world um, and they were just like put down for it, you know, and then they tell me about these experiences and then I sort of go through um, You know deconstructing this this uh, Limiting belief that they have and, and sort of explain to them that know that like, you're gonna meet people who you know Don't really want to get to know you and don't really want to talk and then you're also gonna meet people who are gonna love you Who were like man, thank you for like helping me and talking to me and, and giving me some someone to talk to you cold approach and You know, they just ignore you or treat you like less than human You know give them the benefit of the doubt because their mum might have died that day or you know they might have like lost their car that day or got into a car crash or you know they might have lost a pet like you don't know what someone's been through so it's always best to just assume that you know it's not you that's the cause it's it's the situation that they're in and they're just not in the right space of mind to meet you right logistically just they're just not there right like maybe in a year when she's on the beach and she's having fun and then you did the same approach you know looking the same exact way it might have worked, you know, but it's just time and a place and, and that's just destiny. That's just life. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of guys that like, get to them um, and they just devote themselves to careers. Or I had one comment yesterday, which was like, oh, this is why I don't date. You know, I stopped dating and I'm in a much happier place. But I think that's coping. I don't really believe that. I think truly to be fulfilled, you need to have experiences with people, with women, have a social circle, have a social life. And these are all important aspects of just life in general. And um I think it's 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 time we stop lying to ourselves for the guys who do and say that oh yeah I don't need this part of my life I don't date Western women I don't date women and you know I feel I feel like you're just shooting yourself in the foot there um, by doing that basically I want you guys just to understand to you know while you're doing this stuff while you're learning this skill always understand always remember just to be cautious and be kind uh, to everyone you speak with have a have a level of respect for them as the, as a human being. Um, you know, I talk a lot on the, on the channel about value and stuff like, oh yeah, SMV and you know your sexual market value, all this stuff. But that's not really important, and that's not really what I mean when I when I say that I'm talking about in the sexual marketplace, right? In the dating space, I'm not really talking about someone's innate value as a human being who has a soul and is is in my belief, in my philosophical and religious belief, like you know, part of God as well. Like the same soul that I have is the same soul that they have, and they deserve that level of respect, right? So. That's basically the message of today is just to be kind and remember not to let other people's emotions impact you because that is a reflection of them, not a reflection of you. Um, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed today's little message and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.